Hello Taurus, welcome to your bonus, who is your future lover reading? Let's go ahead and take another look <laughs> at who is your future lover? Who is Taurus's future lover? Choice, all right. <laughs> all righty, Spirit's saying you basically have choice on who your future lover will be. Okay, you may be out there just meeting people, getting to know people, you know, uh, being social. We've got um, focusing on our finances here, and blessings and new beginnings with finance, which is great. Um, Taurus love our um, stability and security, don't we? And we've also got surrender to new beginnings in finance. You've got choice. Okay, this is also uh, blessings. Okay, accepting you are wealthy in love and emotion. Very nice. All right, so let's keep going with this, shall we? And find out a little bit more for my gorgeous Taurus. Spirit, tell me what is choice for my Taurus? What is choice? For my Taurus. Yeah, their future lover. Who's Taurus's future lover? Letting go, you know. What a constant message that's coming out is about letting go of um, something. Um, <laughs> really phenomenal. Um, for me personally, but also for Taurus in general, you know, spirits con consistently telling us to release and let go. Um, we also have decision again, uh, repose, time out and seeking knowledge. Okay, so before you go out looking for your future love, you know, it's funny because it's the same kind of reading that came out with yesterday's um, Who is Your Future Lover for you guys. It, it basically said we need to release something from our past before we can move on to uh, someone quite special, a soulmate that's coming in. Um, so we have letting go, make you know, keeping our options open. You know, probably not playing the field per se, but taking some time out to heal, to focus on ourselves, to, you know, uh, I guess discover what is important, what are we really looking for, etc. And that is when, and Spirit's saying to me, you know, this person's going to find you. You're not going to find them. They're going to find you. So there's nothing that we really need to do. Okay, in order to discover or find our future lover, they're going to come to us, which is really good. That's about choice. Tell me about surrender. The key. All right, that's the key to moving forward. All right, focus, uh, forward thinking, turning things around, ending an era. Again, it's all about that letting go, release energy. Okay, and that's the key. All right, that's the key to moving forward. Okay, quite interesting, isn't it? Tell me about wealth. We've got new beginnings in wealth. What is this? Tell me about wealth for my Taurus. This is something that you're creating um, because you've been dreaming or asking the universe for this. You've been wanting this maybe working up to it maybe you've been wanting a new business or dabbling in you know something online uh and yeah this is basically working on that um could be out there looking for a new job or um you know uh getting some residual income in a different way like selling books or writing poetry or selling little uh, items on Etsy. What is this birth of a new beginning? What is this new horizons? Once we let go of something in the past and spend some time out in healing, 
um, keeping our options open, I feel that you're going to have a new vision and a new perspective, Taurus. We have self-awareness uh, and recognition and launch or ask, okay, new beginning. And I feel that this is someone outside of you that is going to notice you, see you, and that's their approach, okay, a birth of a new beginning towards you. Taurus, I feel that, you know, sometimes we can't see what's coming because it's not there yet. <laughs> you know, it's like um, you just can't see it until it arrives. But when once it arrives and you look back at this reading or your past readings, you put all the pieces together and you start uh, understanding what the little missing pieces are in this reading you know what the cards are literally saying you know where you're going what you're doing decisions you will make that you probably don't even realize yet you know sometimes you know we listen to a reading and we're like yeah right that's not gonna happen yeah right and then by the end of the week this things start panning out and you if you listen back to the reading it's like far out it did happen um so spirit saying there is a new horizon something new that's coming towards you however the key to this happening is um surrendering okay letting go of something that it has been blocked in your energy, all right, and you can't get to the point until you follow through with these keys. Let go and just say, you know, universe, take over, all right, I'm doing it. What do you want me to do? Where do I go now? Bring in the opportunity and I'll, you know, go forward with it and I'll surrender because I realize surrendering is the key that unlocks this new beginning, okay? And it's something you've been dreaming about, fantasizing about, thinking about a fair bit, something that is going to bring in blessings, whether it's financial or whether it's love. Very nice. Let's keep going, shall we? Spirit, what else would you like to say to Taurus about their future love? Taurus, if you like my readings, you can always click like. And if you'd like to support me on my channel, you can always click subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, click that notification bell. That will help you um, get notified every single time I upload. Okay, we have Ten of Swords. That means ending. Okay, and new beginning, but this is also uh, jumping in with two feet. It is a full energy where the fool is quite innocent. The fool doesn't jump in with two feet with all the knowledge that he needs. He's called the fool because he's still like, he's kind of like a baby in whatever this new adventure is. All right, whatever this new horizon is, he's um, bewildered, amazed, you know, quite surprised. You know, he might be in a new place and he's discovering new things. It might be a new social group and he's still learning people's names. It might be a new workplace where you're being trained in a new uh, role. And um, so you're not a fool per se. But you're someone new that is still learning the ins and outs, okay, of this situation. Okay, you're still learning something new. You've got to figure it out or you're going to be taught, you know. Um, and this comes after a Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is a pretty painful ending. Uh, sometimes we don't want to let this go. Uh, we prefer to stay laying down with the swords in our back because it's uh, a pain that we've gotten used to and it's something that um, we just can't imagine life without. It's probably because swords are also thoughts. So it's thoughts that run around and around in your mind and you can't stop thinking about it. It's ten swords, ten thoughts 
or more that just keep running around your mind, keep maybe even keeping you up at night or they're just hanging around uh, in your mind day in, day out, you know, and it's like you got to get rid of those swords because they're affecting you and they're also draining your life, life force, not life, but, you know, your energy, all right, so they're, they're draining you and they're tiring you out and they're making you decide things that are probably um, conditioned to what you're used to, which is this. Not that you should be used to that at all. You should totally let go of it, but sometimes we don't want to let go because we feel that... Um, we don't know what's going to happen once we do. And we're so uh, um, in the habit of thinking these thoughts and, and memories and unable to let go that we just sort of get stuck in this cycle of um, I wish this person was with me or I, I miss this person. No one's ever going to love me the way this person did. This person was my happiness. Could have been a Leo. Tell me more about this Ten of Swords for my beautiful Taurus, gorgeous, handsome Taurus too. Tell me more about. And we have, yeah, you really wanted to be this person's forever. A uh, loyal counterpart may have been an earth sign just like you, but didn't have, doesn't have to be. It's just Queen of Pentacles is a loyal counterpart, hospitable, great advisor. Your person may have um, often spoken to you about their problems or issues at work or with, you know, whatever they're going through in life. They, you were the one they turned to because you were stable, you were secure, you are always there for them. You are someone that they can turn to, they can trust you, you know, you care about them, you're, you're giving, you're gentle, you're doing all the right things, you're genuinely concerned and you really want to be there for them, um, maybe even slightly possessive on your end, you know, like you're mine, you know, and I, I want this and you might still be kind of feeling that same way, this is my person and I don't want to let them go um, because they are my happiness, my happily ever after with the sun, they made me feel alive. They nurtured me, they helped me grow, they, they taught me so much about myself and I just can't release this energy. So it's become ten swords in, in your mind, you know, and in your heart where you just get stuck in this. So let's have a look at this awesome full energy which is so what we need. Tell me more about the form. This is a meeting. Now it's pentacles. So, you know, it's a new meeting, okay? Something uh, where you're learning about either someone or something, okay? Uh, and I will find more out about this meeting for you where you're observing, okay? You might be watching this person and, and they're pretty damn fine and they're probably a great parent or they really know how to take care of themselves and they're financially stable and they've got a good life lifestyle or they just look like someone that really takes care of themselves and would be an amazing partner or something like that. Okay, at this meeting you're observing this person and you can see that, you know, and I feel this is vice versa because it's going two ways, actually three ways, but, you know, let's hope it's not a three-way. Spirit, tell me more about Three of Pentacles, this new start. All right, well, you got Six of Pentacles and we've also got Choice in Love, it's a warning sign. Uh, and someone's coming towards you, they're coming, or you're going there, but this is, and this is a Knight of Pentacles, mind you, a meeting, okay, uh, Six of Pentacles, giving generously, your time, your, you know, hopefully not your finances because um, pentacles are the material realm. So this could be someone very genuine, generous, 
okay, giving of themselves. You've got a choice in love here and you've got six of pentacles, which uh, I just don't want it to be a breadcrumbs, you know, you're an option type vibe, okay. So we're going to take our time towards this chariot. Now I need to clarify this. Tell me about the six of pentacles. This is obligatory. I've got obligations. Could be you with work. I know Taurus, they put work as, as their forefront um, because we really focus on our finances and stability and security. So this is obligatory perhaps with work and seeing someone, a choice in love. Tell me about this. This is loyalty, which is wonderful. I really needed to see that um, to wipe away the warning signs. Uh, so this is loyalty to a choice in love. So it could be a lover that we feel very passionate about. And this being who is your future love. There we go. Coming at you slowly. Tell me more about this Knight of Pentacles. Could have been taking their time about approaching Ooh, wonderful. This is going to be a proper commitment. I like that. Tell me more about the chariot coming towards Taurus, please, spirit. This is a brand new beginning. Jumping in with two feet, a reunion. Who is this? Is this the one that you're trying to release? Tell me about three of pentacles. This is a meeting. What is this for Taurus Merchant? This is work or negotiations regarding uh, a meeting. So, yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then this. Who is the reunion? Who are we reuniting with? Poverty. Tell me more about this. Who are we reuniting with? Who's the reunion? We're expecting this. Main female is expecting this. And we have unexpectedly in the community. Main female is has been waiting for this. But we've got poverty. So this is someone in a very vulnerable position. Amongst the community could be online. Okay. They're very vulnerable. They're like, I need you. Um, tell me more about poverty and what's unexpected. Poverty, trying to figure it out. Tell me about unexpected. Uh, cut out. I uh, didn't expect to be cut out so quick. What is community? Uh, correspondence could be online. Um, tell me about what we're expecting. Uh messages to clear up confusion so this is all about uh clearing up confusion about why it ended because someone is baffled uh in a pretty bad way uh they don't get why it ended okay and so this could be you so unexpectedly we're going to hear from someone in a community most likely online messenger or twitter or whatever it is online dating app or something someone doesn't know why it ended they're confused and they're sending lots of messages i need to know i need to know about this ending sharp cut okay so spirit <sighs> tell me more about this what does Taurus need to know? Man holding a coin. Okay. Someone financially doing pretty all right. Tell me more about this. They're coming towards you slowly. Regarding uh, pff, commitment. They want to negotiate at a meeting. You've been waiting for or they're waiting for you. Tell me more about this for my Taurus. Who is their future lover? Taurus, uh, if you'd like a mini reading just like this, they're $40. You can always book one for yourself, personalized for you and your situation at the email address in the description box below. And we've got the sun again. Could be a Leo. I've got strong Leo vibes here, but doesn't have to be. Tell me more about this for my Taurus. I want to know more about the sun. What is your, um, the fool? Ah, my God. Okay. 
this is jumping in with two feet again tell me more about this fool they are they're approaching you as the fool perhaps like what happened i need to know uh ten of pentacles again you've got that wealth card uh, we've got queen of wands uh can see in the future after a break so like uh came out before we've got uh, expectation we've got five of cups this is grief remorse and regret about the past there's a fool that's coming up to you perhaps they're behaving like i just don't know i didn't get it what are you talking about why did we end i don't understand kind of vibe okay we got you or your divine feminine being very very gorgeous and attractive okay very very beautiful very mysterious slinky sexy um you know sensual she's really you know uh vibing on a very you know attractive wavelength and then we've got ten of pentacles here which is lots of money lots of investments lots of time okay and we've got three of wands i can see it in the future you know maybe we haven't spoken in a little while but there's regret here regarding something that's been invested in for a long time tell me more about this what's coming towards taurus we also have six of pentacles again all right is going to upgrade because we're having turmoil about ten of cups family could be somebody is uh having disputes with another situationship taurus okay so spirit i really want to know about taurus's future lover you got the world again all right tell me more about this tell me more about this for taurus uh -huh. ten of pentacles twice you got wealth you got ten of pentacles you've got ten of pentacles again you got sudden um income unexpected income sorry so it's all relating to something financially very positive upgrading going up a level okay uh which is really good um and you got wealthy man there that you're waiting for and this is spending a lot of time alone in contemplation with the hermit could be a virgo wow this is coming at you and in the future you can see that you're going to have all the tools that you need taurus this is a battle between the heart and your finances you're really trying to figure out what am i going to go for my ten of cups or my ten of pentacles and you're going to have five of uh, wands here where you've got that inner turmoil about it because someone wants to come back and you're trying to let them go and then you're getting your finances in order and you, you're going really well like soaring like an eagle with your your work or your business or your finances are going really well you're taking time out because you're hermit mode you're looking for a way to heal your money and here it comes you know triple time it's doing really really well okay you're doing so well there but uh you can see in the future something's coming towards you and you just trying to put it in the back of your mind you trying not to think about it there is someone here i want to see more about this spirit tell me more about this who is man holding a coin could be someone at work could be a boss a manager uh healing family issues okay tell me more who is this to taurus so this person's obviously going through something um could be with the kids keep an open mind stay optimistic so really this person may be not who you're expecting give your relationship a chance they this person wants you to give them a go okay um hiding the fact that they're calling you in this person's really trying to get you to come in to be with you to secure you down all right taurus this person who's financially quite adept 
Um, spirit wants you to keep an open mind. They're going through their own thing. They might be unwell healing or they might be healing, you know, something that's going on in their family life or through court case. They're trying to put everything together. Some people are healing for years and years and years after a breakdown in a marriage or a commitment for a long time because they're picking up all the pieces financially and, and emotionally and mentally and with their kids and with parents and friends. They're trying to make everything better again because it was such a difficult breakup. So, so I'm just saying some people and I'm getting that with healing family issues, okay, with this person. And keep an open mind is saying this person may be a little bit different from you know, your, your usual type. Stay optimistic, keep positive as we all try to give your relationship a chance, give this a go, give this person a go. They're hiding the fact that they really want to come in. They're not telling you, they're, they're keeping a mask. Uh, they're really, you know, they probably um, are watching you on the sidelines and when you turn, because if it was someone watching you, they turn away and you don't even realise that they're admiring you. That's what I'm feeling here, Taurus, with this person. I think that there's a strong vibe coming in. There is also someone from the past coming in and you're really focused on your finances and business and growing yourself in, in security and, and stability. However, you've, you've got these extra situations going on. So, yeah, you got to let me know what it means. And uh, there's lots of messages here. They're not all going to be for every single Taurus. There's probably, you know, heaps and heaps of messages for several different um, Tauruses out there. So, yeah, I'm interested to know, you know, how this resonates and what it means to you. And Taurus, if you did like it, please like it. And as always, I send you love, peace, blessings and light. Bye for now.